Hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your singles forecast predictions for August for all signs, okay? I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as possible. So if you see that I'm rushing through the video, that's probably why, okay? So for those of you who are continuing to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my video. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I read tarot intuitively and I start with a description of the cards, okay? So let's get started. Aries, what is going on for my single Aries? So I feel that um, in August, there's going to be a bit of um, kind of inner conflict between your mind and your heart, okay? Because I'm seeing that your mind wants to kind of focus on your career. I feel like a lot of you guys are shifting. A lot of you guys have different things going on in your life. A lot of you guys have um, like promotions. I'm seeing your, your career take off tremendously. But I do see that a lot of you guys are kind of thinking about, so when am I going to find the one, you know? Or you're thinking about, where, when am I going to find someone who I can vibe with? And I do see that you guys have had a long history, especially with those of you who have been dealing with a Gemini off and on. There's been a long history of air signs for you guys. Or in general, there's been a long history of unrequited love or situations where people are not kind of reciprocating the same amount of effort that you're putting into the relationships, okay? So in August, I am seeing that there is going to be um, a focus for you on building yourself, building your self-esteem, building on what it is that you really want in a partner in such a way that I feel like you've really taken a leap of faith to start working on your, your um, childhood trauma. You guys have been really working on your inner child. I see a lot of you guys really you know, slowly and steadily like progressing and really um, bringing awareness to the patterns in matters of love, okay? So Aries singles. In August, I do see that some of you guys have a potential with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? This person, um, I'm seeing that this person has dark hair Okay, this person has darker features, they have dark eyes, they have tan skin. They're gonna be a little bit shorter than you. For my feminines, this masculine for you is going to be a little bit on the shorter side. I feel strong Capricorn energy, Taurus Virgo, but can be a Scorpio is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing that this person likes to wear darker colors, like dark blue and black, okay? And I feel like they're very, um, they approach you in, in a very serious way. So it's almost like you guys have such a playful energy in August that I feel like you guys are a little confused about what's happening here. <laughs> Um, this person feels like if you work in real estate, you guys are going to connect through real estate because I'm seeing this as being someone who is in your work field. They may not work with you, but they are in a work field with you. They may be an extension of like a friend of a friend. Okay. So what is the focus here for my singles in love? What opportunities are coming your way? Aries. Okay. Aries. I'm hearing that a lot of you guys are really going to um, start the realization that you need to um, step into your feminine power, whether you're male or female. This is about stepping into your receptivity um, phase, okay? This is where the feminine energy, this is where you allow yourself to receive, okay? So this isn't so much about like gender, this is more about where you stand when it comes to love. Are you giving too much and not receiving out of needing to control? I mean, this is going to be the question for you, okay? In August. So what's happening for Aries singles in love? I see you guys wanting to nurture a specific situation that's going to come around, but I feel um, I feel that some of you guys may be nurturing the wrong plant because I'm having a vision of you guys trying to water a plant, but 
you're nurturing the plant that has been dead for quite some time and I feel like this is with a another Aries Leo Sag or it could be with a Virgo it could be with an Aquarius I feel like you're trying to water the same plant over and over and I feel like you know it's it's like the situation has has been dead okay and i feel like my spirit guides are asking you to really open your eyes that you have a fresh new plant on the side of you waiting to be watered so please pay attention to your opportunities and where you are watering your energy and where you're putting your energy because aries singles please in love august 2019 Because I feel like if you guys are manifesting an old love, okay, and if you do want to manifest this love, especially if you're dealing with um, an air sign, okay, <clears throat> you need to understand that this person, what I'm seeing, I'm having a vision of them, they're undergoing an extensive transformation right now. I feel like this person has been traveling. I feel like they have been like in and out of your life. This person is not where you want them to be. They're not where you want them to be, okay? This person is not in the mentality of wifey or hubby. They're really trying to expand. They're really trying to, um, you know, get their, their business going. And I feel you, Aries, for the most part, you have an idea of where you're going and where you're headed or vice versa. I feel like maybe you're attracted to this person because you're also trying to figure out where your life is going. So I feel like the energy of this person being aloof and a little bit elusive is very attractive to you because you feel like you're also kind of trying to figure out your destination. However, Aries, what I do see is that in a lot of ways, the collective Aries that I'm picking up on, you guys want a commitment. You guys want stability in August. You're craving, you're craving a, a sense of home, a sense of security. So I do see that you're going to kind of shun away anyone who doesn't really want that. But for some reason, your focus is on the wrong pot, okay? Like, I'm really seeing you pour water and really, like, tendering and, like, start nurturing and caring for a plant that is no longer alive and I feel like you guys have been trying to manifest an ex-partner back okay like you're trying to manifest you know someone from the past that you really liked and that you really loved and you felt like you had a strong connection and, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of like energy of you going back to the past versus looking ahead so that is something that you're going to have to really pay attention to so here we have the heart heartache and loss areas in August or my single so a lot of you guys have been dealing with you know trying to find a lighter sense of where you belong and you're trying to open your crown chakra you're really trying to awaken um, you know, like a uh, higher, higher uh, consciousness. Okay. Like a lot of you guys are actually awakening to your spirituality. You're really focusing on just understanding love from a higher perspective. You're trying to take the higher road. You're trying to really find a new, um, just a new path in general to kind of approach love differently in August. And I do see that you guys are willing and you're learning so much about yourself. You're learning about all the pain, okay? I really see that you guys are trying to take that next step to really heal. Now, with the transformation in reverse, this is kind of like my judgment card. You are being called to do things differently. So there is a resistance around this for you, for my singles. So if you guys are wondering why you haven't received new love, there is a resistance around something you need to transform. Form. this is about you so um, this is about your own inner work okay I see you starting this is the starting process but this is really about you trying to figure out what it is and pinpoint what it is that needs to be changed okay so with that being said I do see here the chariot in reverse okay the ace of swords and then we have the page of cups in reverse so um, is for my singles okay I feel like there's going to be a lack of movement when it comes to love in August and it's not that you guys aren't lovable it is that there is a lot going on within your inner world okay you need a huge transformation right now before you can um, before I see the universe giving you something long term there's something that you have been resisting whether this is an addiction this is a pattern this is a behavior this is maybe a style of dating maybe you guys have been having your heart set on one particular person one particular like um, cultural background it could just be you have a type and this type is like causing no movement forward okay 
And I feel like you guys are trying to find clarity surrounding your love life. And I do see that you guys are going to come into a state of really figuring out what you need to change. But in the process, I feel like this is more inner work than it is outer work, if that makes sense. Okay. So this is about breakthrough ideas, clarity coming to your mind and really, you know, coming into the realization that something needs to change in order for you to bring um, more love. And I, I just heard spirit say, if you have been occupying all your time with your, your projects or with work i'm not saying that you shouldn't work but are you making time for love okay because i'm seeing that there's a lot going on in your head i'm, I'm having a vision of, of of crowded energy in your um in your crown chakra so you need to ask yourself have you been opening yourself up to the idea of love and how are you manifesting this is also my manifestation card okay so this is about you coming to coming into clarity, removing this confusion so you can attract what you need to attract. Um, you may have an offer come in that will, that will kind of just not be what you want it to be. And this will be a blessing in disguise. Okay. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is a very youthful energy. Okay. Um, you may have someone come in and this person they are not adding value into your life they're taking from you because they are not mature enough to add value into your life yet okay i feel like this could be a good friend so maybe if you don't want to like get rid of them completely they could just be a friend but this person is not mature enough to be on your level right now and you need support because you guys are going through this huge transformation you don't need someone kind of messing with your head okay so I feel like the biggest focus for you guys is really going to be your own independence, your security, really enjoying your single um, energy right now. And yeah, and I feel like you guys are preparing. It's like this is the preparation in order to really attract a new love. Okay. All right, Aries. Thank you so much. And let's move on to Leo. So let's see. Leo. I'll just do 1210. Okay, Leo. So let's get a channeled message here from my spirit guides, Archangel Metatron. Let's see. Leo singles for August. I'm hearing, open yourself up to opportunity and take risks in matters of love. So this is about taking opportunities that usually would not be something you would want. So you're going to have people who are coming into your life, especially a Libra, strong Libra energy, could be um, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like you're trying to shift and change the kind of people that you're dating. And I do see that you're going to have... Um, an air sign come into your life, but there it feels choppy, okay? I do see this person coming in in August, and what I mean by choppy, it feels like they're not really sure about what it is that they want with you, okay? On the one hand, I feel like they really wanna get to know you. On the other hand, I feel like they're on some like fuck boy or fuck girl shit, you know? Like they're just trying to like get in your pants and they're just trying to tell you what you wanna hear. So you have to be discerning this month and really wait it out, okay? I'm really seeing that this month is about doing things differently for my Leo singles, okay? I'm hearing red flags. Like, really look at the red flags for face value, Leo. Don't make excuses for people this month, okay? Because I do see that there's a lot of energy surrounding you trying to deceive you in a way where you're it's almost like they're deceiving you but you're also deceiving yourself because you're you're allowing yourself to kind of buy the dream or you're letting yourself kind of um by the illusion okay so be really sober about love this month and i know that's really hard to do but it's really about looking at the facts okay are their actions really in alignment with what they're saying is the biggest thing this month for you i am seeing someone with the name of t troy trey um trevor i heard trevor um, I do feel that this person is going to come around the 16th of August, okay? I feel like this is a strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
someone with the name of T could be Tia to um, Thalia is what I'm hearing. Anyway, someone with a T, first name, middle name, last name, okay? And I'm seeing that there is, um, I feel like on your part, you're gonna feel a little bit resistant because there's something about them you don't really like. Like there's something about, and it's not, it's not anything that's really valid. You just don't like their vibe. And I feel like they're coming in kind of salesy with you and you don't like that. Like, I feel like they're trying to sell themselves to you and you're like, why are you trying so hard? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you guys are going to get annoyed because this person, it's almost like they're coming in and they're stacking their personal belongings and at your front door and you're not really like a, you're like, what are you doing? Like, I feel like this person is trying to crowd. What I'm seeing is like, they're trying to crowd your and block your entrance of your house so this is not literal this is like metaphoric my vision of what i'm seeing my psychic vision is that this person is someone who is going to block your abundance if you're not careful so you really need to make sure what energy you're feeding this month and it does it feel good to you and balancing out how much you're giving versus how much you're taking okay so Leo singles, August 2019. You have an Aries coming in, strong Aries energy, someone who is definitely going to awaken your heart, your heart chakra, okay? I do feel like this person has a very structured way of kind of dealing with you, or this could just be someone who is in a role of leadership someone who is a boss, someone who's a director, someone who's running the show. They have a way with how they're going to approach you, okay? Or you're dealing with someone who is very um, closed, like they're not vulnerable, okay? So this is like a divine counterpart. You may be the feminine, they may be the masculine, or vice versa. But you're teaching them about their heart chakra while they're teaching you about standing in your power. I feel a lot of you guys still need to work on your um, your feminine energy, which is receptivity, okay? Not so much the masculine, because I feel like you guys have that masculine energy down where you're, you're going to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like that's a big issue. I feel like it's more about how you're receiving. So singles, Leo, August 2019. Or someone is going to offer you their heart energy, okay? Um, this is someone from the past coming back in with memories of love. But you may have had a really rough start with this person. And they're coming back in to apologize or they want to like, you know, try to make things right. I'm seeing a lot of fours here, which to me is about establishment and about foundation. This could be someone you potentially meet that you could marry, okay? There's a strong sense of foundation here. Leo, August 2018. I'm sorry, 19. Maybe you met them um, 2018. Maybe you met them last year, okay? So let's see here. Leo, singles. I'm seeing a very karmic thread being threaded right now, okay? So you guys have been off and on with a soulmate, okay? Um, and I feel like you're single right now in August, but I do see that the threads of fate are happening. So if you're the Leo who's been trying to control things, I would say like ease up a little bit because this situation is going to require some space of growth for you and this person. And I think it's best because when you guys come into union, you guys are both going to be equally mature equally ready to give to each other there was an imbalance of give and take here and i feel like this person is really resentful that you you stood your ground that you said no leo love singles singles please one more card singles This love I keep hearing is everlasting, so please don't worry. This person is never going to leave you, um, but it doesn't mean that it's going to manifest into a marriage. Does that make sense? Like, I'm sure you have people in your life who you've kept around and they've been like friends forever, 
and they've never really left your life. So I feel like this is a situation, okay? This person is not going anywhere, um, but there is just a lot of games, okay? There's just like a lot of stuff here. This person is very immature. So whoever's coming in, there is a lot of heart energy here, okay? So I feel like this is your energy. You're coming into August a bit wounded because you've been trying to heal yourself. You've been trying to really work on your heart and you guys have finally been feeling what you need to feel. And I feel like whoever's coming back in, it's kind of a really weird time for you because you're not really in this space to cater to the memories. I feel like you guys are trying to heal your heart from this karmic situation or this soulmate situation. You do have news coming in and it may be a little bit gossipy. You may be dealing with someone you know. Um, maybe you're dating someone or you're talking to someone or you will be talking to someone who's a mutual friend of a friend. There's a lot of conversation about you. So be aware if you're dealing with someone who only wants you because they want to win. Okay, um, be aware if this is someone who just wants to kind of show off that they have you, that they had you or something like that, you know? Like, I'm getting I'm getting something about a player energy, but someone who's very young, okay? This, this person may be a fire sign with air energy. Um, the best thing you could do is take your time and be traditional in the situation. So if you're usually like out of the box, Whoever this is, the best way to kind of really tell their intentions is to take it slow and be rigid. Like, do not sleep with them right away. Like, really do things the right way, the traditional way, like the Hierophant, okay? And that's the best way to see what, what they're up to. Like, what is their main purpose with you, okay? Alright, Saj, here we go. Thank you, Leo. And I'll see you soon. So, Sagis. What is happening for my Sag? Hmm. Oh, a lot, actually. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, you guys have a lot going on. So... Either you're going to have an explosive month where you have a lot of like passion because of the way that the cards are flying or you're going through very emotionally, um, energetically intense time in August. So singles, let's see what's happening for you guys. I'm hearing Gemini. Could be Libra Aquarius. There's a strong magnetism here that you're going to really feel towards an air sign in, um, in August. And I'm seeing like magnets, like there's a strong magnet here with this person, okay? And I feel like you're looking at them. This could be um, sun, moon, or rising. And you're looking at them in admiration and vice versa. They're admiring you. And I feel like this is like the beginning of a possible friendship that could kind of spark into something else. I'm seeing this as more... Can I be real with you really quick, Saj? I feel like this is going to be a little bit more um, as ego, okay? Like... I feel like you're looking at this person and they're they're beautiful, right? Like outwardly, I feel like they're outwardly I feel like they're very model like, okay, male or female, and I feel like you're kind of getting caught up with the looks because you can't help it. Who doesn't like a beautiful muse right in front of them, right? Um and I am seeing that there's a strong sense of like knowing and connection and Maybe feeling like this person is very familiar to you for my singles. But I'm seeing that you are going to feel different once you have sex with this person. And it's not that they're awful in bed, okay? I don't know. I don't know. I can't really call it. Um, but I do think that this person, it's like, it's you you were trying to figure out what this connection was and I feel like you guys are going to hook up or you already have or this is coming in August and you're going to realize or you're going to spend more time with this person. Maybe this was a long distance connection and I feel like maybe as singles you're finally meeting and you're realizing, wow, that was cool but... 
I don't feel like this person is mentally stimulating for you, okay? I do see like a gift exchange here, like a necklace being given to you or vice versa. Um, I feel like this person is really into this more than you are in August. And I feel like part of that is because your mind is on your money, okay, for my singles. Um, you guys have been, I feel like you're trying, it's like you're trying to make time for love. But you're like, there are other pri there are other things that are kind of eating at you right now. There are other things on your mind that you're kind of like, you know what? Yeah, there's a lot going on for you, Saj. And I'm just seeing that, you know, you have potential. There's a lot of like positive energy here of people coming into your life who are definitely going to be something of value. But, um... I feel you're the one who's kind of pausing. For my singles, I feel like you're the one who's kind of like putting them in your pocket until you're ready, okay? And that's not a bad thing. You're just exploring your options is what I'm hearing, okay? I do see a strong fire sign here. This could be your twin flame in August, okay? You may meet your twin flame for the first time and you're like, shh. Like, I really see you guys feeling a strong sense of knowing with a fire sign. So there is, it's almost like a competition between an air sign and the fire sign. Like, I feel like you love both people for different reasons, okay? And I'm seeing that, you, you know, either they're new or they're old, but this is for my singles. So this may be a new connection. You thought that this air sign was someone like your one, but I always, I feel like you always felt like there was a doubt. There was like doubt in the back of your head. And I feel like that's because this person isn't fulfilling your mental and emotional needs. I feel like they're fulfilling their, your physical. Okay. So it's like you're confused, right? Because I feel like the air sign here is someone who is going to fulfill you on a soul level and they're also very attractive and then they're on top of that they're maybe they're creative they're very there's a lot of things that you really like about this person but you're trying to sort through I feel like you're trying to sort through who you want to kind of commit to or who you want to end up with okay there's a lot of sorting energy for you Saj in um, August okay and um, I do see a letter so someone's gonna write a letter and, and you're either going to give it to someone or um, they're going to give you a letter, okay? So, okay, yeah, a lot of you guys are not in a place to start new. So, for my singles, the majority of you are not really looking to settle down right now. There's a lot of other things. There's a lot of inner work to be done. And I'm just, and that's not just my intuition. That's like what the cards are showing me, okay? A lot of you guys are going to be holding in your true emotions. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's coming in. Someone who's wounded, okay? Someone who you may want to try something new. Or this is you. You may have water in your chart, okay? You're dealing with a water sign who is maybe they've been floating in and out of your life but I feel like in August they're stepping up but you see how the nine of wands like they're trying to kind of find a balance between trust and not trusting you okay so they want to trust you but you have a Libra Gemini Aquarius that is kind of coming at you they're coming at you cutthroat so whoever that is I don't know what's going on with that but they're coming in or they already are in your life we have the waiting game, Sag, okay, for my singles in reverse. So some of you guys have recently stopped waiting for something. With the two, I feel like perhaps you're waiting for something to manifest, okay? I'm seeing like the manifest manifestation energy here. I feel like you are trying to work on something energetically. You may not have been outwardly like forward about this situation, but you were trying to manifest something um, in silence and you were maybe waiting for something and you're suffering in silence okay so some of you guys just ended something with someone the you know the deception card in reverse and then the heart chakra in reverse so maybe there is that two percent population here who's very open to love but the majority of you guys 
are suffering in silence, okay? In August, you have let someone go that you've been waiting for, okay? This was probably a long distance situation. Um, you decided to no longer like hold off and you, you know, you potentially had to cut cords with this person, okay? And with the deception and envy in reverse, I feel like you or this person no longer wants to wear a mask and there is a blockage in your heart chakra. So either there was a betrayal or there will be a betrayal and it's going to kind of, this betrayal will trigger, trigger you to take off any false masks you've been wearing. So at the end of the day, it's not such a bad thing. It's going to help you. It's going to be a catalyst for your own change, okay? Change for the better. With this heart chakra energy and it's blocked, I don't recommend dating if you can't open this up, okay? You really need to be kind of healed. So if you need time to heal, please take that time to heal. However, I do see people in your periphery. Instead of new people kind of coming in for the majority of my Sagittarius's, I feel like you have... Um, old people that you need to sort through, like people who have been in and out of your life and people who have kind of been in the periphery. And I feel like you're going to make a decision based on who you want to deal with, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is letting me know that fate is at play. This is about the universe working in your favor. A lot of changes are happening right now. Um, so with this, you know, this is about your spiritual kind of journey and you learning from your experiences. Like you're learning um soul lessons right now so karmic lessons in order to evolve your soul into the next level the full in reverse is about you know you feeling like you're not ready for a new start right now you're not ready to venture in matters of love and the hangman and um that's not in reverse the hangman is also a clarifier that you're just kind of sacrificing dating in order to reflect you're reflecting a lot about your life you're thinking about your life you're thinking about your love life you're thinking about the changes you need to make that you want to make you're thinking about your career there's all these things that you're processing so i don't see any active energy of going out there i see more of the people that you've had kind of on the sidelines as friends or people that maybe have come around and you needed to make a decision you're going to make a decision in august okay thank you guys so much and i will see you soon for the pick a card when i do it next week okay